Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. I am shooting this video on the 1st of November. I cannot believe it is already November, but I wanted to talk about my October favorites. Um, I feel like I had a lot this month, um, so we're just gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna start out with skincare. Um, first of all, I wanted to talk about this Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting Liquid. Um, it's a 2% BHA um, exfoliant that you leave on your face like after you use your toner. Um, and this is supposed to create radiant, even toned skin, reduce redness and build collagen and unclog and diminish enlarged pores. So I am about this far through the bottle. I have been using this since um, September, I believe, August or September. Maybe I need to not use so much every time I use it, but I have noticed um, that this has really helped smooth out the texture of my skin. Like, it is incredible. I think I will purchase this for the rest of my life and it's not at all irritating. It has ingredients in it that are hydrating so it didn't dry out my skin. Um, I just really, really, really love this product. The next um, skincare item is the um, First Aid Beauty Kona Eye Stick. And this little guy, um, when I first got it, this was sent to me in PR. I dropped it, so it's kind of misshapen, but when I first got it, I wasn't quite sure how to integrate it into my routine. And I would forget to use it until I had my foundation on and I would put it on top of my foundation to kind of act as like a concealer primer. And it worked great for that. Um, then I moved it into my bathroom and I started using it as part of my skincare routine. And I apply it after my moisturizer and this makes all the difference in the world when it comes to making my under eye area look smooth and hydrated and I notice on days when I forget to use this that my concealer does not look as smooth. I have fine lines around my under eye area and I am dry there as well and if I don't do proper skin prep which now includes using this my under eyes start looking crepey. Um, the fine lines can be emphasized very easily. Um, so I have been loving this. This is a staple in my skincare routine. And then I have not been using any other concealers um, on my under eyes, except for the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage and the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. These are it. Like, they're so good. I use this for every day because I just, I don't have like crazy um, uh, dark circles or super bad hyperpigmentation that I need to cover up. So this works wonderfully for me every day. Um, and then on the weekends or when I want just a more glam, fuller coverage look, this is what I reach for. And I have also been mixing this with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. This is like my summer slash fake tan shade. Um, so it's too dark for me right now, but I mix a little bit of this in with it and oh, it just creates the most beautiful base. Um, so this is like a soft matte finish and this has more of like a radiant um, satiny finish. So when they come together, it's just beautiful. Um, and I was not planning on talking about those base products, but that's where we went. Um, all right, so that was all the skincare. Let's talk about makeup. Um, you guys have probably heard me <laughs> talking about this Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter. It is amazing. It is so beautiful. I'm going to show you the product again. I know you've probably seen it so many times from me. But I am just in awe of how beautiful this is and how amazing it looks on the skin. I'm wearing it today as my only highlight and I didn't even use my beauty blender. I just used my fingers to blend it in. So um, this is in the shade Guilt, or sorry, Monumental and there are two other shades available. 
I highly, highly recommend this. Um, the texture is amazing. It's super fun to play with and it is $9. Next up is an item that I got in my October BoxyCharm. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Stretch Mascara. I just really love the volume and length and drama that this gives my lashes with one coat. And if I want to, I can apply multiple coats and build it up. Um, but yeah, this is just a really great mascara and it doesn't smudge on me very like super bad. Um, I do, this is a little bit tough to remove. So I remove this with my Too Faced um, Melt Off Mascara Remover um, and it does the job beautifully. Next up, um, I have two eyeshadow palettes and if you follow me on Instagram, these are going to be no surprise. Um, let's see. So this, first we'll talk about the Disney designer um, from ColourPop. So this is the It's a Princess Thing palette and I love Disney. I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse t-shirt today. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with Disney and I'm obsessed with makeup and ColourPop is one of my all-time favorite brands. Um, so when I saw this palette, I knew I had to have it. Um, the one thing I just wanted to point out though, these two shades are switched. Um, so this is actually the shade Chip and then this is actually the shade Prince Charming. They're just flip flopped. Um, but these shades, I mean, they're beautiful. You can create beautiful, natural, everyday looks. You also have some fun pops of color down here. The only shade that has given me trouble is Fairy Godmother. Um, it swatches beautifully, but when I apply it on my eyes, it kind of just shears out and it just doesn't give me that pop of color um, that I was hoping for. And then I was kind of nervous about these two shades down here. These are mattes with like a glitter infused in them, um, but once I apply them on the eyes, I use Beast in the crease a lot to deepen up um, my looks. And then I've used Midnight Curfew as eyeliner and they work great. You don't get sparkle all over the place. And once I blend Beast into my crease, I don't really notice the sparkle. Um, so this collection is restocking um, November 2nd at 10 a.m. PST. If you guys were hoping to grab anything, I would not wait. All right, the second eyeshadow palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Um, can we just stare at this packaging for the rest of the day? Because it's beautiful. Um, and I am a neutral eyeshadow lover. Like this is where my love of makeup began was with neutrals. Um, so there are just some really stunning, um, neutral and cool tone shadows in here. The shimmers are all beautiful. Um, the quality in this palette is consistent with the soft glam palette and the modern renaissance palette. I haven't tried the other ones. Um, I don't own them, so I can't speak to that, but the quality is consistent with the high quality that I am used to seeing from Anastasia Beverly Hills. In fact, um, I will say that this palette, the Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam, are some of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. Um, so you can create some really beautiful looks with these eyeshadows. Um, they're really easy to use. You can go simple you can go all out glam i mean what not to love i also got this as an anniversary present from my husband for our fifth wedding anniversary it's in october so this is extra extra special to me um i will be posting swatches of this on my instagram page hopefully soon all right next these are something um new they were sent to me from a brand that is launching now this month on November 6th, um, and they are from Maybe Cosmetics, and these are two blushes. So they have these really awesome, like, 
quotes on them. And then the product itself is just really, really nice. They are like, they're pigmented without being overwhelming. They blend out beautifully. They last all day. And I really, really, really love this packaging. I don't know if I have used any other blushes since I received these. Um, there's four in the collection, but these two are kind of my favorite for this month. All right, next up, let's talk about this Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. So I picked this up after I saw Kathleen Lights talk about it in her September favorites, I think. Um, so it has like teeny little illuminating particles in it, so you have to shake it up before you use it. Um, this isn't like the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray where you, if you look closely, you can see like sparkle on your face. This just gives you like a perfected, dewy, radiant glow and it makes my highlighter, every time I wear it, it makes my highlighter look like 10 times more amazing. I don't know what the magic is that is in this bottle, but it is amazing. And a lot of people said that the spray is kind of intense and I don't agree with that. I think the spray is really nice. Let's kind of wave that over here. Um, it also has a really nice, very light fragrance um, that does fade. So um, I have an oily T-zone and then dry cheeks. So I like to use this in conjunction with another setting spray usually, and I like to just focus this on my cheeks. Um, it does work all over my face. It doesn't make me get oily any faster. Um, but So I can use it all over, but that's just my preferred way of using it. Next up, I have some lip products to talk about. So these were also sent to me. Um, but if you guys, you guys have heard me talk about these before. I love these liquid lipsticks. Um, these are two of the new shades from Pixie Beauty. I have Bare Beauty and Prettiest Pink. I just really loved both of these shades this month. I love all of them, um, but <laughs> I don't. I feel like I don't need to talk about the entire shade range. These were just two shades that I really, really loved. This is like a pale, peachy nude, and then this is a vibrant hot pink. I used this shade um, when I dressed up as the fairy godmother for Halloween, and I felt like it was the perfect lip shade. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about these before, they these are a liquid lipstick for people who don't like liquid lipsticks. They're super comfortable, they're really hydrating. Um, I find that they do transfer a teeny bit, but they it doesn't affect their lasting power. Um, I can wear these all day and my lips don't feel dry at all. I seriously love them. Um, and last but not least, these are two lipsticks from the ColourPop um, Disney Designer Collection. I picked up the shades Ariel and Belle. So Ariel is this peachy, it's supposed to be a nude, on me it's not a nude, and then Belle, which is like a rosy berry. Um, these are both in the creme formula and I love them. I think the shades are beautiful. There's Disney Princess autographs on the tube here. I mean, what's not to love for a Disney slash makeup slash ColourPop lover? Um, I would love to own all of the lipsticks, but it's just not practical as from someone who owns a lot of lipsticks. I just, I can't do it. So these were the two that I chose. I might pick up Cinderella from the restock because Cinderella is my favorite princess, so we'll see. But those were the items that I used a ton and loved this month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you again soon.